the Oklahoma Sooners are a win away and looking to finish off a perfect 5-0 start in the opening weekend here at Love's Field. Welcome to Norman, Oklahoma, everybody, alongside Olympian Nicole Mendez. Time to get her out. And Kelly Maxwell will do just that. Keeping Maya Davis off the base paths. Good looking at their numbers compared to right-handed arms. 266 against righties. Two, Two outs. 267 against lefties. Overall, this team can stay for this order. Maxwell fires the 3-1. And there is that eye you were talking about, Aaron, as Rowe is aboard with a two-out walk. This is what you're going to see from a patient team. They only take the first strike about 40% of the time. Speaking of strikes, Kelly Maxwell sits her down on strikes with the rise ball. It's a score. It's going to be today. Can we guess? Is there a reason why? Why is Coach Gasso doing this? Raging, raging Cajun starting pitcher Chloe Riaseto. And you can't when you face an offense like Oklahoma. Jennings laces it right past. Ling leers at second base, and she is aboard with a one-out single. Change. It's round ball right to Vasquez. They're going to try to spin it, and they'll do it. And defense stepping up for the Raging Cajuns to roll a pair and get out of the inning. Senior Sophie Piscos sails this high to center field, and Jada Coleman will glove it for the first out here in the second. During those moments. Another pop-up on the right side. Alina Torres is going to take care of it, and it's two quick outs to 1-1 one, one upstairs, but struck well deep to left field, and that's going to get out of here for a solo home run by the senior, Jordan Campbell. Her second home run of the season, and that'll get the Raging Cajuns up to an early lead, 1-0 here in the top of the second. Aaron, you were just talking about the aggressiveness of this team. Jordan Campbell saw something that she could handle. That's the approach. This is what Kelly Maxwell is up against. This is a ball that is well at the shoulder, above the letters of the jersey. This is not a bad pitch. This is well placed out of the hand of Maxwell, but when you've got a team that comes in with a game plan, they know they're going to see the curveball. They know they're going to see the elevated. Fat be a little bit higher, or it needs to be a little bit more on those corners. One, two, gets the chase right back to Maxwell, and she'll take care of it. Good response at as Hanson, the senior, stands in to lead off the bottom of the second. She'll get it done, one pitch, and Hanson is aboard. Boom, pushes the bunt, and what a great play by Sophie Piscos, eating it up and taking care of Boone at first base, but that will move Hanson up to second and into scoring position. 2-2 popped up on the infield. A little bit of communication, but shortstop Cecilia Vasquez is going to take care of it. And getting to the two strikes. She's comfortable battling, fouling off pitches until she gets the one she wants. 3-2, swing and a miss. And Rhea Seto leaving runners stranded for the second. And she's been outstanding all season. But anything different you've seen here in the last couple innings? Had that pitch just leaking over the heart of the plate. That one nice <laughs> on the corner. One of those situations you can't miss if you're Kelly Maxwell. You got to keep the ball low, and she does. Gets the K. Back to back strikeouts. Really tough conversation. The 1 1 grounded up the middle, and it's a two out single for Maddie Hayden. Perspective at this point in the year. Go two misses in the dirt. Hayden's going to take off. Hansen has no shot. And just like that, Raging Cajuns have a runner in scoring position. Someone who will continue to grind and find a way to get this team moving. 
Speaking of moving, Kelly Maxwell. Torres chases up in the zone and will sky it high to right fielder Kayla Falterman for the first out of the inning. And back to Chloe Riaceto, looking sharp. Living as a team. And I can tell you this, this team through now two and a third innings have just existed. They've kind of floated through. I think every single one of us as Alyssa Brito stands in and laces a single into center field. And it's back-to-back -back base runners for the Sooners. I mean, <laughs> you, you got to talk about it up here a little bit. If anybody's going to bring the energy. One here on the afternoon had a single back in the first, but was stranded. Good pitch. And talk about making a pitch. <laughs> and Alyssa Brito at first to potentially tie this ball game up as Rio Seto falls behind two balls and no strikes. Uven, wake up. Do you feel like some of that comes from, again, runner runner on base back in the first, grounded into a double play, runner in scoring. Oh, specifically in an opportunity like this that would end an inning, they're going to challenge it. Why, why would you not? You took the words out of my mouth, Why would Aaron. you not? Why would you not? If the opportunity is there, and think of how, how much fight went into Ooh, getting review God. in the first. The old obstruction rule. Looks like we are going to get an answer, and she is out, leaving early. And the Sooners are run out of an inning, and the Raging Cajuns. Single piece matters whenever you're on a team, especially in this day and age. 3-2, laced and hit well to left field. It's going to bounce off the wall. Langlier's run rounds first, but she's going to be held up. The 0-2 popped up. Maxwell's going to take it herself, and that's a huge out. Maxwell brings the 2-0 as Hayden takes off. Throw gets away into center field. She's going to slide into third and get thrown out. Langliers thrown out at third base. Get thrown out at third base. Glass is fired up. This throw is uncharacteristically wide, but to run on Jada Coleman, I think it's interesting. There's this exchange at third base between Langliers and Glasgow, and he's asking her, should I go to the headset? Should I review this call? It looks she went back and said no, and the call stands. She's out at third. The reaction time, the urgency, just the quickness in the outfield, unmatched. The 3-0 is going to miss upstairs, and it is a four-pitch walk delivered from Kelly Maxwell to Victoria Valdez to bring up Jordan. Reps. Kelly Maxwell needs these reps. 1-1, one, one. grounded down the left field line. It's going to be fair. Here comes Valdez, and she will stand up at third base. And Jordan Campbell with her second hit of the day. Two outs. Kelly Maxwell fires, and it's going to get down. Valdez will score. And it is back-to-back -back singles for the Cajuns to make it 2-0 Louisiana but elevated, just being able to get those hands in front so you're not caught behind your body. Hit well. Kinsey Hansen makes her way out to have. <laughs> the pitch misses low, it is a two out walk and that'll roll it back over to the Raging Cajuns. Payoff pitch, here comes the 3-2, and it just misses low. Davis will walk to bring in the third run of the ball game for the Raging Cajuns to Hayden, bases loaded. Ground ball right back to Keeney. She will retire Hayden to get out of it, but not before the Raging Cajuns put a pair on the board to make it 3-0. I'm going to try to find a way to get some momentum. And sometimes that's all you need as Riley Lethlam lifts a dying quail into center field for a leadoff single. I've never. This ball hit well to right center field and Kinsey Hansen does it again. Make it a two run shot for K-9. And the 
Sooners are right back in this ball game with one swing of the bat from none other. <laughs> Again and again and again. This one on that low outer corner. Watch her posture that entire swing. She stays down on that ball, that upper half of her body. She has to go down. She's a tall girl. But the ability to hold that core strong all the way through extension. Movement in the Louisiana bullpen. Little check swing. Going to get under the glove. But Langliers takes care of Boone at first base for the first out of the inning. They score the most runs in the fourth inning. Struck well to left field, and what wow. a play by wow. Maddie Hayden. Those <laughs> oh my Listen, God. We talked about her offensively, right? A, at minimum, a double from Sid Sanders. Minimum. And Aaron, you were an outfielder. How Holy, tough is that catch I mean, over your shoulder bumps, like that? Like look, actual Mindy, goosebumps. Look at the screen. SC <laughs> Sports Center top 10 nominee, absolutely. Against that side of a pitcher's dominance. And line drive right at Kayla Falterman in right field. But, gotta say, starting to see. Yo, one. Rito fired across, and Rowe is retired for the first out of the inning. 2 1. Struck well to center field. Jada Coleman is gonna be under it, though for the second out of the inning. He hasn't felt too much. Sophie Piscos, one pitch. Ground ball to Alyssa Brito. And Carly Kitty retires the side. We go to the bottom of the fifth. One, two, swing and a miss by Torres to Mark Riasetto's third strikeout on the day. I think she's earned it, what do you say? <laughs> I guess, I guess that's why. That's why it takes so you can get a free bag. That marks Jada Clemens' second walk on the day to roll it back over to Alyssa Brito. Line drive right at Sophie Piscos, who tries to fire it over. Jada Coleman back safely. Lifted and it's going to get down right in front of Fulterman in right field. Coleman takes off and it will stand up at third. And Tiare Jennings reading the throw and getting into scoring position with two outs. 1 0 grounded right at Piscos. Fires and they're going to say she was on the bag. Coach Gasso immediately calling for the review. And you can see Sam Rowe going up for the throw. And this is probably the best view we're going to get. And her <laughs> foot was off the bag if we're looking at it on review. And you can hear it. You don't even need to hear us say it. And the call is going to stand that Ella Parker was out at first base. Lot to unpack, guys. Lot to unpack. It's the 0-1 is lifted to left field. Jennings is back to make the catch for the first out of the inning. Looking at the foot of the first baseman, Rowe, to see if that foot lost contact with first. 2-1 laced right at Riley Boone and right field for the second out of the inning. And pitchers count here, one ball and two strikes to Vasquez. Struck well to center field, but we got a Jada Coleman. And that'll do it. Keeney sits him down in order. We head to the bottom. Three one, that's it. Three two in the dirt, and Kinsey Hansen is aboard with a leadoff walk. Shows bunt, and it's a beauty as Pisco fires. Boone is safe at first. Pisco did about all she could. Pitch out, and Hansen is hung up between second and third. And Hansen is going to be tagged out. And out of the baseline, Boone will move up to second base. And we took the 3 2. Line drive back at Rio Seto. She recovers to throw out Sanders. Boone takes off and is going to slide safely into third base. Ground ball, 
gets away. But just in time, Langliers recovers to fire Pickering out at first base. 2-2 Two -two to Falterman. Popped up to center field, and Jada Coleman's going to take care of it. And that's a big out to start the seventh as this lineup rolls back over to the ever-dangerous Maya Davis. You've got Jada, the extra infielder on the dirt. Lifted to left field, and it's going to pop out of the glove of Pickering and Maya Davis. That'll bring up Maddie Hayden. Ground ball right at Jennings, and the bobble. Hayden is aboard. Put runners at first and second with one out. Maya Davis takes off on the double steal, and you can see Rose swing through it. Both runners move up to second and third and at third base, and no review is made. I'm trying to confirm here if there's any reviews left. Maya Davis scores on yet what will be ruled an error. It will be. Cajuns on top. Four. You see Davis take off, and what we see the Sooner offense do so often, and Kenzie Hansen just dropped the ball. Listen, when you've got someone running full speed right at you, this is something that a catcher, especially ball bag backup, I mean, that's the basics that you learn. Brown ball, same play. And this time, the out at home as Maddie Hayden is thrown out. Here's my critique. Get a rundown. Stop. Don't just run into the tag at home. It popped up on the infield, and this should do it. Jennings will glove it. We head to the bottom of the seventh final call for the Sooners. The space runner right now <laughs> for the Sooners. <laughs> the 3-1. Going to be ball four. And Avery Hodge is aboard with a leadoff walk. Payoff pitch to Jada Coleman. Popped up on the infield. Ellistad is under it for the first out of the seventh inning. Hit well to right field. Falterman is back and she's gonna catch it at the wall. Avery Hodge will tag and move into scoring position at second base. Jennings two for three here today with a pair of singles. Lines this one to the right center field gap. Hodge will score. Jennings is held up at first base. But chipping away to make this a one run ball game. Jennings with the arc. Wow. Tiara Jennings smashes this ball. This ball is low in the zone. I don't even know if that was a strike. It was low outside. She just stays on it so well. But also, wow, Patty Gasso goes to her freshman. Tying run at first base and two outs. Popped up to the right side, and it's going to get away from Langliers. Maya Bland rounds third, and she's going to be held up. Ball gets away. Here comes Bland. We get ourselves a tie ball game. And Kinsey Hansen at the plate. It's been defense that has been the Achilles heel for Louisiana all season long. What was the proudest part of this team just a season ago is now the area for the Raging Cajuns that they're bland. And now Kinsey Hansen, who has been the hero so many times, has an opportunity and it's popped up. And what a catch from Victoria Valdez. And you hope that she's okay. As, what a catch by Valdez. I mean, an amazing effort. Tied up at four. Lecker laces a pitch down the left field line. It's going to be fair. Lecker rounds first, but she's going to be held up for a long single to lead off the eighth. Jordan Campbell stands in. Ground ball, Brito picks it off, and it's going to be bobbled for what will be the third error by this OU defense here today. I got one. Uncharacteristic. Ground ball right back to Keeney. It's going to get away. Everybody's safe. 
Make it four. Again, touches the glove and it bounces off. I, to me, that's an error. That should be ruled an error. Ground ball, diving. Tiara Jennings gets away. That will score. Lecker to make it a 5-4 game. Everybody safe. Bases still juiced. And nobody out. Well, based on the history of this inning, I'm going to assume that one will also be called a base hit, right? Pulled into the 5-6 hole. It's just, it's so hard to make a call on these when you know what type of infield you're dealing yep. with. When you know what type of athletes are on the dirt. Score. Rage Cage is up, 5-4. And called third strike on Amaya Davis on the outside corner for the under it right now. 1-2 to Hayden. Ground ball to Jennings. Going to get the force at home. And that'll bring up Sam Rowe. With... Off the glove and into left field. Here comes Rowe. And Rowe will score. Rowe does it. Rowe, the two RBI single. Aaron, you talked about her full Good job since that first inning settling in, but that one is left over the plate. I, again, I don't even know if that's in the 5-6. Off the glove of Jennings. Feels like there should be a lot more errors on the board just based on what we've seen. Finally making a routine play to secure the third out. What a game we have had in Norman. The 1 fly ball to Maddie Hayden and left for the first out of the inning. Them and making them work. Struck well to left center field, and that's going to get out of here. Sydney Sanders gets one back with one swing of the bat to make it 7-5. And Sid Sanders chipping away here in the bottom of the eighth. Leadoff was so needed. It was so needed. A solo shot is better than two outs right now. But man, if you can set the table late in this ball game, you know it's just a matter of time before you see one leave the yard. That home run's brought to you by Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Current talk about gamer. 2-1, hit well to center field. Davis is back, and she'll make the catch at the warning track. And it's final call for the Sooners. She awaits the 2-1. Line drive, and it's going to get down for a single to bring up Jada Coleman. It's the right approach by Torres. She doesn't overswing. She's not out of her shoes. She shortens up. Ground ball to Langliers. And Louisiana has done it. As they defeat the Oklahoma Sooners seven to five in the 71 game win streak comes to an end. UL, we talked about the quality of team this is. We talked about how they have been fighting Scraping, scratching, trying to get a win across. Several losses have led to this moment, have made them tough for this moment. Streaks are meant to be broken, and UL, <laughs> they're making a statement. What's well, been a frustrated Raging Cajun team, 